Okay, so make sure you have Lesson 15 and Circle open. And what we're going to do is we're going to play with our code a little bit. And we are going to change our state variable. So let's set Circle 1. And use our radius. We're going to say it's equal to, say, 20. Okay, so then we're going to get the area. So if our radius is 20, 20 squared is 400. 400 times 3 is 1,200. So it's going to be a little over 1,200 for us, should be our result. Okay, so since we change it to circle 1, take our comments off, put our comments on the other one, and then let's run it. Click OK. And over 1,200, we were right. Okay, so if you look back at your circle class, I added in a method here, an extra end bracket that I don't need. Um, so now we can use set radius. So instead of before where we change radius, we can now just call on the method set radius to change the radius to whatever we want it to be. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to talk about the different parts of this class to try to understand them a little better. Okay, so you see here at the beginning all of these things that are public. So I'm going to come up to the top just to make some extra notes for myself and for you all also. So public is called access control. So it can be private also. So since it's public, we can use it in our Lesson 15. Since if it were private, we could only use it in this program. So public means that we're able to use it anywhere we need to. All right, so after public, if you look at like area right here, so it says double. So this tells us what is being returned. So when we call this method, it's going to return a double because it actually sends something back. There isn't a return on public circle, which is why there's not a double in there. But circumference does, since it returns C, we put double up there. It could return an integer, it could return a string, but you have to specify if it's returning something to put it after public. So I'm going to make that note up here. So after public if returning something, state the type returned. So type, as you know, is string double int care. Now if you look down at that set radius that I put in, it doesn't return anything. So if it doesn't return anything, it's appropriate to use the term void. So that is the type. So state the type returned, or void if nothing. And since this is a constructor, that doesn't matter here. But since this is a method down at the bottom, it does. And then the next part is the name of the method. So set radius is the name of that method. Circumference is the name of that method. Area is the name of that method. So then. name of method. So then you know what to call on in your other program. And then at the end we need a space. So we put the open and close parentheses here because it's a method. Now this one sets the method right here in that space. So NR for new radius. But you notice we didn't put anything in area or in circumference but we need them there. What goes in the parentheses is parameters, and since we've already set parameters within the program, we don't need to set them here in the parentheses. But we did set them here. So if you go look back at lesson 15, this line that we've been throwing into everything for no apparent reason starts to make a little bit of sense. This is public, which means we have access to it and it can run. Void, meaning that we're not specifying what is being returned. And main is the name of the method. 
So remember, very, very far long ago, we said you can name that whatever you want, but main is common. There you go. The static and the string args, we're going to wait and talk about those later. So let's go back to our circle method, and we're going to look at our constructor. So a the constructor right here, the public circle right here, that is a very special type of method. It doesn't return anything, but you do not put void after public. The name of your constructor always, always, always has to be identical to the name of your class. And for your constructor, you can set up whatever parameters you want to. If you look back at lesson 15, where we said new circle, and we set to 5.1, this is what comes into here. And then the next line, radius, becomes equal to whatever we had put in that circle in lesson 15. Okay, so I know this is a little weird for you. This is probably one of the more confusing things that we can happen, but I swear you're going to be okay. So what I want you to do first is I want you to do the project What's That Diameter? So you're going to use the same circle class that we just created, but you're going to add in a new parameter that calculates the diameter and you need to print out the diameter. Then you're going to go on and do the questions that are on Moodle for you. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create another project called Overdrawn at the Bank. So this will take you a little bit of time, so you need to allocate yourself some time for this. The first part of the program will be easy because you only have to come up with a few lines of code, but this is you're going to be creating some of it yourself. So please let me know if you run into any questions, use the forum, talk to each other, do what you need to do. You know, within the confines of the class without plagiarizing and business. So good luck. Please let me know if you run into any questions.